Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to walk you through a new app I found called PhotoGrid. And it's very easy to make picture collages with PhotoGrid. So let me click on it and show you how it works. It comes up with uh, different grid patterns as well as templates. I do like to use the templates, that's what I use this time. So let me click on Template, Select, and then we'll select a certain template. And let me just scroll down to the bottom. It starts off with a lot of Halloween stuff, but I'm going to go on the bottom and I'm going to pick the sunny day one so I'll click on that out that one it's got I need four pictures for that one which is what I uh, wanted to work with anyway so it takes you back to your gallery on your camera uh, so you can work from your camera photos or from your screenshots I have some in both so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to get a screenshots and my theme today is these four Labrador um, pups that are now 11 years old and we wanted to honor them this month for their birthday so I had all the pet parents send in the photo of their pup with a nice fall scene so there's one there and I have another one down here notice that the actual images are showing up at the bottom as you select them and then there's another one there and then I'm going to back, go back to my own camera where I have a screenshot or a picture of my my dog okay now these are all from the same litter like I said so that's why we want to build a collage around them and next is down here once you get your four photos added you hit next and you can see it kind of puts it all together initially for you but you can do a lot of editing to this as far as the background and cropping and um, zooming in and zooming out and uh, quite a few things actually so let me take you through some of the things that I did with this particular collage uh, I want to get rid of a few things. I, I want to get rid of this little um, barcode scanner stuff there. So let me exit out of that one. Do you want to delete it? Yes, I do. Um, we also have a little sunny day one up here. I don't really need that. I'm going to make it something different. So I'm going to exit out of that. Yes, I'm going to delete that. And then I can tell right off I've got a couple of pictures here that I need to crop because they have extra black on top and bottom. I don't really need that. So let me click on this picture with my S Pen, but you know, if you have a, a phone without obviously an S Pen, it, just do it with your finger. I've done it both ways, it works just fine. And on this one, I'm going to click on that, and notice when I click on that particular photo, and let me do it without the pen, the menu at the bottom changes, and uh, crop, and there's lots more here than just crop, but let me click on crop, and on that image, um, I want to get rid of the black, but I also want to. Um, just change the image a little bit. Let me get rid of the black. Let me raise that up and raise that down. Okay. And maybe just a little further in over here. All right. Now, when you're done cropping it, then you have the green check mark up here. Just click on that, and that takes care of it. Also, I want to do this big picture right here. So let me go click on that one and say crop. Again, I'm going to get rid of the black. And then make come let it come out this way a little bit more so the dog doesn't get cut off. And let's go out a little more there because don't want the uh, fall scene to get lost in there either. So once we've done that, we can say crop again. So that should take that one out. Now I can also pan around as far as zoom in, zoom out, I should say. Let me click on that one. And... Um, like I said, if I scroll this way, I can see zoom in, zoom out. And let me see if I want to zoom in or zoom out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Now, I may make it a little smaller, a little bigger. But I can also grab the image and push it down into there. And lock it in there. I, I like it just a little bit smaller than what the uh, space allowed. Of course, you don't see the border once you click off of that. Now, for some reason, that little barcode's back. Let me get rid of that. Yes, okay. Um, same way with that. That didn't go away for some reason. Let's get rid of it again. Now, um, take care of the cropping. I want to add some text boxes back. So let me just take out a text box. I can type in, I'm going to center this within, and I'm going to just say, um, um, happy birthday. And actually, I want to make that happy 11th birthday. Two and 
let's put the dogs names in there and And I'm going to use the ampersand sign just to save space there. And I don't want to forget the exclamation point. And again, hit the check mark when you got it like you want it. Now it may come up in something you do not like or do not want at all. It's a certain background that's here and there's a certain font color as well. You can change all that. You can change the font. So. Um, if we click on the box, again, it changes down here at the bottom with what we can do. We have edit, if we want to edit the words, or just font. I don't like that particular font. You have choices, so you can go down and pick something else. Try different ones out, see which ones you like the best. I think I ended up liking Jester the best. Now, the font color is next door, so if you don't like um, some of that, you can pick something different. Uh, you want obviously, something that shows up. Um, orange looks good, but so does lime green. Now the background. If you don't like the background, click on background. We can change that. Now that's kind of a blue jean denim pattern there. So if you don't like that, we can go do other things. Lots of choices of backgrounds. Um, you can do kind of a wood colored one that looks kind of good. Makes it stand out nicely too. So now obviously placement wise, that's not where I want it, but they have this great little tool connected to it. You see the little, um, you can always grab it and move it wherever you want to with your finger or with this pen. Um, but you also have this nice little round tilt button here. It does a lot of things. It not only does it tilt, it also makes it smaller. You can go in or out with it as you need be. Tilt it this way, tilt it that way. Um, I was going for a little bit of a tilt. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Um, push it up there. Land it wherever you want. Obviously you don't want to um, cut anybody's head off, so let me just resize it just a little bit. And maybe a little bigger, but just get it pushed up a little bit more. The pen does help in this case, but I have done it all with just my finger. Obviously a Samsung S4. This is a Note 2 here. And so I've got that. If I uh, want to change the background on the whole page itself, let me just click on if I can get to the background without messing with everything else. Um, out here and we'll hit background again and this will affect the entire background so maybe I just want a black background something like that and that looks uh, pretty good too um, I also went the extra step and actually put each dog's name next to his face or in somewhere in the picture so if I want to do that like I'll click on that picture or actually I'll just click on text it gives me a whole new one so if I want to put in the dog's name let's click up here and We'll make one for each pup. And you, again, you can make it really small. And obviously this worked really nice uploading it to Facebook for all the parents to see. And um, so maybe a little big. So I may just click on it and modify that a little bit more. And it, it turned out really nice on, on Facebook as a post. Um, now, let me do this next one. Put it up there. And it's just so easy to move things around and change the size as need be. And let me go down to that one. Actually, let me just click outside. text and that Oop. okay and a t more again we'll um, slide it down here obviously it's too big so we'll just use that tool to make it happen and put that up there and then the last one see some of these I think are a little crooked sometimes they're a little challenging to get straight it's almost easier if you do want them a little bit sideways. And then
the last one. And I put that over there in the top corner, but I don't want to get it smaller. I don't want to, whoops, yeah, I want it smaller. I was trying to move it. And let's buzz it around like that, and then we can maybe grab it and put it, whoops. Let me just place it first. Try to make it smaller. And, whoops. And um, you can also, you know, continue changing things around, trying different things out. They have little stickers you can put on here as well. And if you wanted to add anything, you know, else, you know, to it like text labels, just all kinds of stuff. And let's go back one. So there you have it. That's just a quick way to do a photo collage using PhotoGrid. Thank you for your time.